What is going on guys, today I'm going to look into subsurface scattering. So what this basically does is it allows, this is sort of a setting you can use for your materials and it will allow light to shine through your material. Um, so not the same way that like um, glass works where it lets all, sort of all the light through, it sort of illuminates, it glows in the spot the light is sh shining through. So like in real life if you were to put like a torch um, shining on your palm, um, like pushed up against your hand, you'll see that your um, on the other side of your hand you'll get like a red come through from the light so that's pretty much what it does it sort of just lets light to pass through your actual uh, material so I've used this for two examples in my apartments I've used it for my lights in um, Jerry and Chandler's apartment and uh, so you can see it's sort of shining blue and if I grab the light I can move that so if I move that away you can see it allows it to shine and if I were to go into my other apartment we can see I've used it on my blinds so two different sort of uses because on this it's sort of the light outside shining through and it gives it a nice shadow cast as well because of like the window frame so I'm just going to show you how to do this um, very simple this right click well get your material first you should know how to do that sub surface test open it up come in here get your color make that like a green actually I want a red make that like a red well, that was perfect. I got perfect on one. Huh. Uh, then click the material, come down to where it says default lit, which is under the shading model, and go to subsurface. Then the lower this is, the sort of more it lets through. So we're going to put about 0.8, and then connect your red into your subsurface color because that will appear. So if I put that back to default, you see that setting disappears. Put it back to subsurface, you see it reappears. So yeah, um, you can have this a different color. So like, as I said with your hand, your hand is sort of like a, I don't know, a peachy, uh, sort of a, it's a skin color. But when light shines through it, it comes through very red. So you could always put like a red on the subsurface so it comes through red. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna have the actual material red and the subsurface color red. So if I click apply to that, and close it down and just throw that onto here. Well, I think I missed it. I'll throw it onto here. We go. Oop. You can see I've made now a red version of what I had, and that's pretty much how you set up subsurface coloring. And it's a great little tool because obviously in real life things have that on it, and you do want light passing through certain things. And like I said, these are just the two examples I've used it for. I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you don't know, I have a Twitter at the moment, so you can follow along and see what sort of the projects I'm working on. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, bye bye.